Hey guys, welcome back to Fantasy Tips. My name is Julian, and this is a video about my favorite league settings. It's a question that I've been asked quite a few times, so I decided that this preseason, I would finally answer that and break down my absolute favorite league settings. Now, before we get started though, guys, please leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to bring your support to the next level, the link to my Patreon is down below. Now let's jump right into it. And the first thing is, do I like Categories League? Is that my go-to league type? It is not. Categories leagues are not my favorite by any means. I think it's an, it's an interesting style of play, but it's becoming more and more popular and it's becoming even more popular than points leagues. I don't think that should be the case because points leagues are a lot more representative of how well a player is actually doing rather than a categories league where you're just trying to fill a stat sheet. I think it's silly that all the categories count for the same in categories leagues. For example, plus minus counts for the same as points. Both of those categories are going to be worth one in a categories league, and that's a little bit silly to me. When I do play categories leagues, the way I like it is sticking to the simple categories. Goals, assists, points. Power play goals, power play assists, power play points. Hits, blocks, and shots. Those are all standard categories, as well as plus, minus. I like that as well. Now, I like shorthanded points as a category also, but I don't like it when somebody makes shorthanded goals, shorthanded assists, and shorthanded points all categories. Why should those be worth as much as points or blocks or any of those other categories? It doesn't make any sense. Most weeks, you only score maybe one or two shorthanded points, so you end up winning a category off you know, one or two points. It doesn't make any sense. If you're gonna include shorthanded points, include only the points category, and don't include shorthanded goals or shorthanded assists. That's just silly. For goalies, I like wins, save percentage, goals against average, and shutouts for categories. So if you haven't guessed it yet, guys, my favorite type of league is head-to-head -head points based. Basically, every category is assigned a value, and then based on that value, you get points, and whoever accrues the most points at the end of the week gets the win. One league that I really like with really good point-based values is this one where they assign a goal to be worth five points, an assist to be worth three, power play points, and plus minus are all worth one point in this league. Shorthanded points are worth two, but that is definitely optional. If you want to incentivize shorthanded points, they are definitely harder to score than other types of points. So that's why it is a little bit incentivized in this league. Blocks, shots, hits, 0.5. For goalies, it's 0.3 points for every single save, minus 1.5 for every goal let in. It's five points for a win, an additional three points for a shutout. This system allows everybody to be ranked pretty much where they should be ranked in terms of fantasy value. So for example, a player that gets a lot of points and hits a lot like Marcus Foligno is better than a player that gets the same amount of points but doesn't hit as much. Another thing that I do like in leagues is five bench spots. A lot of leagues only have four, but I do like the extra spot to allow a little bit more flexibility with the waiver wire. That's something that I definitely recommend in your leagues. And then the IR spot. A lot of leagues only have one IR spot and one IR plus spot sometimes. I always recommend that your leagues have two IR plus spots and one normal IR spot to allow for injuries and don't, to not really screw anybody over if they somehow get a bunch of injuries throughout the season. At least you're going to have those three spots and it shouldn't hurt you too, too much because it sucks having to keep guys that should be rostered players on your roster because they're not droppable guys. Well, with this system, you won't have to do that as much. In all my leagues, I like having four pickups per week. Any more is too many and any less is just really, really tough. I've played with less. It is very, very difficult to really manage those acquisitions per week. I think four is absolutely perfect. I also like dividing the pool winning spot between the person who finished first in the regular season and the person who won the playoffs. The person who won the regular season, that is an accomplishment. That's a lot of weeks going and actually managing to finish first place. Definitely deserves some prize money. And then the person who won the playoffs obviously prepped their team, was prepping every single week for that playoff run and managed to take it home. So both those guys definitely deserve to be rewarded and both those guys should be paid out handsomely. I also like to reward the guy who finished second place in the season and sometimes I also like to reward the guy who finished second place in the playoffs. And there you have it guys, those are the settings that I generally play with for fantasy hockey. They're absolutely my favorite. So tell me down in the comments guys, what are your league settings and what would you like to change about your league settings? And let me know if my league settings were helpful for you to set your own leagues. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Fantasy Tipped.